both commissioners for a response and then feel free to uh, invite your staff members to uh, join in. And that is uh, the growth management. We're going to try to limit our topics tonight to three primary areas. Growth management, transportation, and the environment, which obviously includes water. Uh, under growth management, given the huge growth in New Tampa and Meadow Point, including Wesley Chapel, A, what provisions have been, um, what provisions have each government made to protect the quality of life in this area? B, are Pasco and Hillsborough counties working together on this issue? And if so, to what degree and how? And three, what provisions have each county made to manage and control growth in this area? So whoever wants to start. Yes, I'll start. Okay. Uh, not enough. Not enough has been put in place. Um, growth for nearly two decades ran rapid. We saw the expansion out here take off faster than the infrastructure that was in place or scheduled to be put in place. Um, not just roads, but uh, utilities, water, uh, parkland, schools, firefighting, public safety, and the list goes on. Um, times were good, people were working, money was flowing, development was running strong. Both Hillsborough and Pasco opened those floodgates and we saw a lot developed before the proper infrastructure was put in place. Now we have time, because the economy has slowed down, to go in and do what we need to do and that's rebuild the infrastructure to sustain what we have and what will come. Uh, there's still a lot of potential for infill and smart development in this area, but it can't be done without cooperation between the counties, cooperation between the authorities, and with proper sustainable support in place. Um, one of those areas is going to be transportation, ensuring that we have right away in place to do expansions, to add some form of mass transit, whether it be express buses or something that can be done uh, affordably so that it doesn't become a drain on the taxpayer. Um, but as growth comes into this area and the population is growing in this area, we're going to need to be able to move people. When you only have two roads in and out of here, you know, you've got a bottleneck. So, you know, I, I know working with my constituents, a lot of folks live here and work in Tampa, or live in Tampa and work up here. And, uh, you know, you gotta have right away for the utility lines and other things that come with growth and expansion. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for the economic environment to grow here, meaning jobs. Pat touched on it when she said, you know, don't, don't take any business away. Well, there's gonna be plenty of business because there's the trend today is for businesses to locate out in the communities so that you're not you don't have those bottlenecks of everybody being in one spot and those mass exits in and out exoduses in and out of the metropolitan work areas. So there is a business de development hub growing up here on the county line. And um, Hillsborough planning people recognize that, our economic development people recognize that. Uh, I know that the Pasco folks that do the same also recognize that. I know that they have been meeting on a regular basis to do overlays and plans to um, take us to the next step. Yeah, I am um, an OB teacher, so I have my own board here. I think what Victor said was extremely important. At one point, we basically had kind of a peanut butter approach about it. You know, I became a commissioner in 94, and what we had was a good old boy, who was true, kind of network. And anything went. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create competitive and unique ways of living, working, and what they could say, shopping employment opportunities. But also what's important is that sustainability. And one of the things that we looked at 
as part of um, this was to establish market areas. We taught our new planning director, Richard, talked about a peanut butter approach. It's a hard one to see things. But what we did is, is we did a lot of studying. We wanted 